Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to part two of this tutorial. I wanted to share with you guys um, that I finished my two panels. You should have two panels. Mine were um, approximately 36 inches long. Now, you don't have to have yours that long, but me, I'm about a size 3X, and I know that this size will be really great for me um, for the length. I will be doing some measurements, and I will be having them in the description box. So if you want the following um, instructions on um, the, on the great lengths and widths of your panels, um, I, please check back in the description box and you'll be able to see um, the width and the length of each panel for different sizes. So that way you'll have a great size that'll fit you really great. So I want to share with you how we are going to assemble these two panels. They're not going to assemble themselves, of course, so I'm going to show you how they work. But I'm going to move my panels out of the way just because I don't have enough space here and I want to share with you exactly how they're done. So let me move this out of the way and let's go ahead and get started. You're going to line up your panels and I'm using two sheets of graph paper to share with you guys exactly how I'm going to do this and I'm going to zoom in for you guys exactly how they're going to be. So this is how we're going to line our panels guys. Excuse me. First we're going to have we have A and B which is our two panels. You're going to take A standing here like so, and you're going to place B right next to it, just like so, if you notice this. Next, I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna share with you what we're doing with these two panels. This is where, if you want your stitch markers to come in handy, this will hold them together to ensure that your pieces are lined up right. So you're going to have these here and not, like I said if you want to use your stitch markers feel free to use those then you can line them up nicely and you're going to just stitch across you're going to stitch these together just like so stitching them together all across here this is going to be your seam so you're going to seam that across together that's your first step then you're going to let me move it up a little bit so that way you can see in the camera. After that, you're going to fold A and you're going to line it up with the tip of B. Okay, so you're going to fold it here and line it here like so. Okay, and it should just be right at the tip of B. Okay, it should be lined up right there. It shouldn't go all the way in. You don't want it all the way in. It's basically so it's going to be halfway through just like so guys now you're going to take B and you're going to fold B all the way down so you're covering up A you're covering it all the way up just like so if you have to stop this and rewind it pause it do what you have to do because this can be a little bit confusing but you notice that you're getting the poncho shape and that's what you're going to create that's what you're doing now. You folded these together. Now all you're going to do is seam right here. Now you're going to seam these two together. This is going to be your second seam. That's what you're going to do to create your poncho. And when you're done, it should look like this. But seam together. All right, guys, so we're back and um, if you look at these documents, uh, or should I say, if you look at these pictures that I'm posting here, you'll see exactly what we're doing right now. We're going to be working on this first seam, and so you're going to be lining up your pieces in order to create that first seam. So look at those pictures, guys, really quickly. If you want to pause here, go ahead and pause and line up your pieces. Now, if you're with me right now, what we're going to be doing is lining up our pieces. I have two stitch markers. If you want to use more than that, you definitely can. Um, I'm going to be lining up the first here, and I'm going to be just inserting them together because I want to line these up. Our goal is to line these up, make sure we have an even um, seam line because we're working with mesh, and sometimes it can kind of be a little bit um, harder sometimes to see exactly how to line our pieces up compared to just, you know, a full stitch block. So um, we have this one here. I'm going to let you know if you're working with me, um, the same length that I'm doing and the width of each panel that I'm doing, um, we'll be working over approximately, let me count these, 
um, spaces and we'll know exactly how many we're going to be working over. So I've pinned off this first set. So it's one and there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And so I'm going to be pinning this fifteenth one too because I want to make sure this is all lined up. Now I noticed my tension was a little bit different on my one of my um, panels. So if you notice that, just make sure that's when you really make sure that um, your things are lined up really well because tension can do something to your work when it comes to trying to seam them together. It's not gonna be a big deal on this, but I wanna make sure I have it lined up. So this is what it looks like lined up. Let me share with you guys what I have. I just noticed that I noticed that one of my panels is a little bit bigger. But since this is gonna be light and airy and flowy, there's no problem. So after I get done with this, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you, like I said before, I'm going to be sharing with you guys in the description box of this video um, some different panel um, inches um, and some different widths and lengths of some panels for different sizes um, just because if, if you don't want to make yours as long or as wide as mine is going to be. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to be using a single crochet method. Um, many of you may want to use a sewing. If you want to use your sewing needles and you want to sew, you more than welcome can. It just depends on what you like to do when it comes to seaming your pieces together. I left a long strand for my second panel. Might have been a little bit too long, but I'm going to try it out and see how it works. And for the sake of this video, guys, I'm going to be doing a single crochet method. So that's what I'll be doing. And so... I'm going to be doing a single crochet and I'm going to be lining up the third chain from each one. Um, well, one of them, let me see. Yeah, so I'm using the short end here. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to line these up and making sure I'm going into the third chain of each one. So I'm taking this out, guys. And I'm going to be lining these up so that the double crochets can line up, okay? If that makes any sense here. So, these double crochets have to line up, okay, like so. So, since these are lining up, I'm going to put my first single crochet here. So, that's where my first single crochet is going to be, right in this corner. I don't know if I can get it in there, guys. Basically where I basically it's gonna be where I um where I fastened off. Okay. So I put a single crochet right there. Alright, and then I'm gonna be doing three single crochets in each space. Now there's two different ways you can do a single crochet in your spaces, or you can do them in the actual chain. So if you want to work in your chains, you can let me zoom in a little bit if you want to see a little bit closer. Um, I'm trying to get my lighting right for you guys. Okay, so let's see how that's going to be. If I want to put it up in the air, that might not be good. Maybe here. Okay, so you can either single crochet right directly in your spaces, or you can single crochet right in your um, chains. So you can go right directly in these chains here. Or you can go in the spaces. I think I'm just going to go in the spaces, guys. So that's one, two, and three. And you want to put three chains in each space. And then you want, or not three chains, three single crochets in each space. And you want to put one single crochet in each double crochet along. Okay? So if you're following with me, so far we put a double, a single crochet in the first one here in our first stitch, and then we put three in our first space, and then we put another one in the double. So that's going to make a total of five stitches. Okay? So if you're following with me, we should have five stitches right now. Then we're going to have six, seven, eight. Okay? And then we're going to go, we should be at a double now. So 
double crochets, line up each double. Okay. Now we're going to do three in the spaces. So it's one, okay. Oops, sorry about that. Two and three. So we have three in that space. Now we should be at a double again. Now we're going to line up our double crochets again. Okay. And there we go. And then we're going to keep going. So we're at one, two, and three. And then we're going to line up our double crochets. Okay. So for one is not, I should say, it's not a double crochet. It's the end of a row. And I don't want to confuse anybody. I'm sorry. Um, this is not an actual double crochet. It's the end of a row because our this panel is actually turned a different way. But if you get my drift, it's just the end of this row where we see this stitching. So we're just going to be going at the end of each of these. Okay. This is where we're going. So this is not considered a double crochet, guys. But this is where we're going to be working in. Okay. We're going to be working in all these ends. And we're going to be matching our double crochets here with those ends. Okay. Alrighty, so let's just continue going here. Um, do we do our three? We did our three, and now we're gonna just line these up again, and we're going in again. This is a super easy part. We did the hard part, guys. One, two, and three. We did the hard part, guys. So now we can move on to this easier part, just putting it together. Okay. Just putting it together, super simple. Again, if you're sewing yours together, kudos. Because I know it's gonna look really nice and uh, it just takes a little more time. And so you just choose what you would like to do. One, two, and three. So yeah, it just depends on what you like, guys. And like I said, we're working over 15 squares. Okay. Um, three. So it really just depends on the sizing of your panels. And I'll be posting some different sizes and things like that in the description box of this video as soon as I get a chance. Like I said in the last video, if it's not up there, guys, it'll be up there. As soon as I get a chance to post those sizes. Okay. But you'll all see me wear it and you'll know. Um, You'll know exactly how I'm going to be wearing it and how it fits on me. And you'll know uh, how much, how big you want it. Okay. So we're just going along, guys. It's nothing... Uh, too hard. I'm just single crocheting in the spaces, guys. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything too crazy. I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing it right with my K-hook. And I'm lining them up, checking to make sure. And I put that, those stitch markers there, and I'm, and I'm perfectly fine. And I've done that, I use, because I'm telling you guys, it helps a lot. And I say, even if you don't have these type of stitch markers... Just use some scraps of yarn. It's no biggie. Just something to hold your stitches together in place. Because when you're doing stuff like this, there can be times where your work can be off because you didn't line them up. So holding them in place with a stitch marker or some type of, you know, anything. Safety pins. I know some people use safety pins because they have that clasp on them. But I think for not this giveaway that's coming up, but my next one, I'll probably be doing some stitch give some stitch markers. Okay, so guys, we're approaching the last part. And if you're with me, we're approaching the last part, guys. We're doing our in the double. Oh, guess what, guys? That's what I could play. Yarn chicken. <laughs> How fun. I'm playing yarn chicken. Okay, so three single crochets. Oh, and I have to win. I'm on camera. I have to win yarn chicken. I can't lose on camera, can I? And I'm going to lose on camera? <laughs> All right, guys. So, there's no editing here. I didn't win on... I didn't win yarn chicken. So, I'm going to do... I'm just going to snip a little piece of yarn. 
and add it so that way I can make sure I have enough stitches there. I will not, my mind will not let me go with just leaving this like this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add this other piece of yarn right on camera so you guys can know that I, how I do things. Okay. And I'm just, that's how you do a color change, guys. Many of you know I do one. That's why I really didn't go in depth with it. Because I really just want to finish up this part. Okay. So, let me go ahead and pull that junk out of the way. Alrighty, so now I have my three single crochets. And now I need my fourth one. And that's going to be my fourth one. There we go, guys. So we have our stitches. I'm going to count these really quickly so you guys can know if you're on the same, you know, same as me. Let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, so we have 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42. 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, and 60 stitches. So we should have 60 stitches, guys, going across there. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. All right, guys. So we're done with that first seam. All righty. I'm going to open it up, and we're going to look and see what it looks like, if it looks too harsh or if it looks all right. And I think it's going to look good, especially when we wear it and we put it all together. And what I like about mesh, I can take my stitch marker out. What I like about mesh is that um, it's super, like you can pull it and you can like play with it and make it your own. So yes, I like that. It's not too bad for me. Um, but if you don't like it, guys, you can definitely um, put it together in a sew. You can sew it or just go in your chains and don't go in the spaces. Um, okay, now I'm going to show some pictures of part two of this seam so you can see exactly how we seamed it for the second part. That way you guys can know exactly what we're going to be doing. Okay, so we can know exactly how to do it. So look at this picture, guys. Let me know uh, if you need to pause it. Just go ahead and pause it really quickly. That way you can go ahead and... Um, look and see exactly how you want it to be done and then I'll be right back because I'm going to line mine up the same way the picture looks and then we'll get started. Alright guys, so I'm back. This is what mine looks like. If you're following me, I have mine folded and this is exactly what it's going to look like, guys. I folded this one short ways, if you notice that, and then I folded this one all the way down guys and so now all I'm going to do is seam up this I'm going to line up my pieces like we did before and I'm going to seam these two pieces together all the way down here guys all of this is going to be seamed together because I folded these down um, this one this flap here is going down it's coming this way this flap here is coming all the way down here and now to finish it up we're just going to seam up these two stitches i'm going to be right back to share with you how i'm seeing them up lining them up all that good stuff 